Did you know that the new Apple Watch Ultra 2 has 64 GB storage? So what else is new? Let's find out. First of all, the design is exactly same like last year's Watch Ultra. There is not even a slight change in that department. Even we have the same titanium color with Ultra 2. There were strong rumors about a stealthy black Watch Ultra 2, but that didn't happen. We have the same 49mm titanium frame from Watch Ultra that is now made up of 95% recycled titanium. Display size is also the same at 1.92 inches and it has sapphire glass protection. One big change with display is the brightness. Now we have the brightest display ever on an Apple Watch with a peak brightness of 3000 nits versus 2000 nits on last year's Apple Watch Ultra. This will be excellent for visibility out in the daylight. We have to see how this will affect battery life as battery size is the same like last year. According to Apple, it will give 36 hours of battery life after a full charge and up to 72 hours with low power mode turned on. Another big change is under the hood and that's a new S9 chipset. It's about 60% faster from last year's Watch Ultra that was basically using the same processor from Apple Watch Series 6. So it's a big upgrade in terms of performance on an Apple Watch after so many years. Also for the first time, Apple has introduced 64GB storage on Watch Ultra 2 versus 32GB on last year's model. Apple didn't mention it on stage, but I don't know who will be using that massive 64GB storage on a smartwatch. Since you won't be playing games and using heavy apps on an Apple Watch, so last year's Watch Ultra should work perfectly fine and there's no need to upgrade. We also have a new ultra wideband chip that is designed for better precision finding, but this will work best if you also have the latest iPhone 15. This year Apple has also introduced a new gesture for Apple Watch and that's double tap. With this gesture you can end or receive calls just by using this pinch gesture. This is something that is already present on an Apple Watch. So by using accessibility setting, you can pinch to move forward and double pinch to move backward. Technically you can also accept and end calls on last year's Apple Watch Ultra, but that can only happen if Apple doesn't limit this new gesture to this year's Watch Ultra 2 and Watch 9. So that was everything regarding Apple's Watch Ultra 2. I think that's a pretty minimal upgrade. And if you already have an Ultra from last year, then there is absolutely no reason that you should get this Ultra 2. And that was all about for today's episode. With that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, bye bye.